What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this video I'm gonna show you four different ways to add color to your plexiglass light painting brushes. Everything I talk about in this video is going to be linked down in the description below. Most of this stuff can be found at just any old craft store or even your local drug store. Um, but if you can't find it where you're at or if you wanna get it shipped to you, I will put links to all this stuff down below. One of the things that you won't be able to find at your local drugstore is a color changing flashlight from Frank at Light Excursion. He builds these custom, so he's got a couple kind of off the shelf models, but uh, if you talk with Frank, you can get exactly what you want. So Frank's lights are specifically made to work with the light painting brushes system, and they work great with the universal connector. You can just put it on the end there, and then put your plexiglass on the end, turn your light on, and then you use this little remote control to change the color. So let's just go, there's a blue, pink, orange, green, red, all different colors you can do here. Um, and these are cool too, because they also have these different modes you can do. So like a demo mode where it'll like go through the different colors and things like that. Um, again, Frank at Light Excursion. Uh, these are great lights if you're looking for a color changing flashlight. The next easiest way to add color to your plexiglass light painting brushes is to use one of the screw on color filters. These are extremely easy to use. All you do is take the screw on color filter, screw it on to the plexiglass like so, and you put your normal light in there and now you have orange plexiglass like that. Very easy to use and uh, you can stack these and create all kinds of really crazy colors. You can add and you can get all kinds of really interesting hues by stacking them. When you're stacking them, you really only wanna do two because unless you have a super bright light, because they do cut down a little bit of the light. So if you're stacking like five together, you're probably just gonna have an itty bitty bit of light and you probably won't be able to even see it. But anyway, that's another simple way to add color to your plexiglass light painting brushes using the screw on color filters. Something else I wanna point out is that each one of these things are great individually. Each one of these ways to add color to the plexiglass are great individually, but they can all be used in conjunction with one another. So for instance, if I wanna use Frank's color changing light here, let's just put it on pink, there we go. And I wanna put a purple filter on a piece of plexiglass and put that together. You're gonna get a really cool hue. You get this uh, like light purplish pink color. Blending all these ways of adding color to the plexiglass together can really create some interesting results and images and colors. Uh, another way that you can add color to your plexiglass is using colored vinyl. Yeah. These specific ones are the ones that I use. Again, link down below. Uh, they're made by Paper Street Plastics, I believe. The, the sticky back on these is sticky enough to stay on the plexi, but it doesn't ruin it by leaving like a gooey mess behind. This is a book of them. They come in like this book, like this, right? And you can see I've been using a bunch of them, cutting them up and using pieces, parts. Okay. So this is where we're gonna get into where do you add the color on the plexiglass, right? So if you're using Frank's color changing flashlight, obviously it's coming out the edge there, right? If you're using the screw on color filters, again, the light's all coming out of the edge there. So when you get into using these gels like this, you can add them to different parts of the plexi and where you add them is gonna, and where you add them is gonna give different effects, all right? I'll shoot some images with all these tools to show you the, the, uh, the effects that you're gonna get. But let's just say, you know, you can take a piece and put it on the entire length of the plexiglass. Now the edge is gonna shine whatever color that you put in. Let's just go with the regular old white light. So the edge is gonna shine white, but it's still gonna pick up some of that pink hue when you're moving it around. Um, with this one, you're gonna have more white light than you are the pink, but you'll get some of that pink as you're waving the light around. Whereas if you cover the complete and total edge of it like this, you're gonna get more pink. So you'll see, because the light on the plexiglass is all coming out the edges of it here, right? So when you cover the edges, 
you're gonna get more of the color itself rather than if you just put the uh, color on the face of the Plexi. I'll shoot some sample photos with these two specific ones and show you the difference in the texture and the color that you're gonna get when you either put it on the face of the Plexi or if you put it on the edge of the plexiglass, all right? So the fourth and final way that I'm gonna show you that you can add color to your plexiglass light painting brushes is using Sharpies, all right? Um, you can use Sharpies, you can use dry erase markers, you can use all different kinds of markers. The same principles that I talked about with the vinyl here, with the colored vinyl, um, as to where you put it, whether you put it on the edge or whether you put it on the face, applies when you're coloring the plexiglass as well. So if you're coloring the edge, you're going to get more color as opposed to coloring just along the face of the plexi. The Sharpies, and depending on what markers you use and, and whatever, they can be a pain to get off of your plexiglass. You can use something like acetone. Acetone will uh, take it off, but it can still just be a pain to take off. Although, I will tell you this, once you start really uh, markering these things up and they just kind of get a mess, Sometimes that creates really the coolest effect is just you've got marker bleeds and marks and scratches all over them. Honestly, they can come out really cool. But if you're trying to keep these nice and clean, but you want to use the Sharpie markers or whatever kind of markers you've got, what I highly recommend is getting some crystal clear tape like so. You break off a piece of this and you put it right along the edge of the plexiglass like so. Dun, 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 dun. Then you can take your markers and you can just color along the tape like this. Let's do this and this. Just going to show you the basic idea here. Um, you can color along the tape like that, right? So when you're shining a light into it, you're still going to get that color when you're waving it around. But the beauty of using the tape is you just take the tape and you go whoop like so, and now you're back to a nice clean plexiglass and you can take this tape and just throw it in the garbage, like that. Now, you could take this whole thing and cover it with something like uh, saran wrap. Just wrap it up and then you can just go nuts with the markers and color it and do all kinds of crazy stuff to it and you might get some really cool effects and then you can just take that saran wrap and unravel it, throw that away, and you're back to your nice clean plexiglass. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how you can add color to your plexiglass. Again, what I want to point out is that none of these have to be used individually. They can all be used together. So let's just say I want to put red along here on my taped edge of this plexiglass. I'm going to screw a blue color filter onto the end. And then I'm going to use Frank's RGB light. And look at that. That's really cool, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you got red on this side, and you got like this pinkish hue on this side, and then you got blue coming out the end. It's, you can use all these different techniques together to create some really cool colors and images. If you guys like this video, if you got something out of it, please do hit the like button down below. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you have a comment or a question about any of these ideas, techniques, put it down in the comment section below and I will happily try to answer anything that I can. Until the next video, get out there and get creative. I need to shine a light. There we go.